612 on this Friday morning and we're bringing in the year of the dragon with Uptown's annual Lunar New Year celebration in Uptown. That's right. Our Asal Rezai will take us on a tour of three different businesses to showcase the celebration and to learn about Lunar New Year in Uptown. Good morning once again Asal. I mean we're really excited to learn things so teach us. <laughs> teach us. <laughs> Yeah, I'm here to do just that, Dana. Jackie, we are inside Q Ideas right now off of Argyle. Uh, so much to offer in this quaint little cozy store uh, that I'm learning to love so much this morning. I'm with Ellen Dong here this morning. She uh, owns this place. Ellen, good morning. Thank you for being here. Yes. So tell us about uh, what we see here. Obviously, you have a beautiful setup here for the Lunar New Year. And this place uh, you took over from your mom. This place has been here since the early 2000s. Yeah, so we opened in 2002 and it's second generation. First First of its kind on Argyle. There aren't that many second generation businesses in Argyle. And we're trying to really bring home um, love and, and attention to our area. And so the Lunar New Year, a great way to showcase uh, what you guys have to offer yes. here. It's the Year of the Dragon. Tell me what we're looking at. So Year of the Dragon, Wood Dragon this year means prosperity and it's a lot of power and nobility and luck, right? We love that. Um, this year, and every year traditionally on New Year's, we like to have the yellow mums, a really big pop of color for the new year. I think that, especially when we're talking February, sometimes January the new year hits, it's kind of dreary, it's kind of cold. So having these bright, vibrant colors brings in a lot of positivity, good mood, um, <clears throat> and a lot of just color. We and you guys it. have so, so much candy. Yes. Uh, there's envelopes. So much to take in here. I absolutely love all of the colors. Uh, and I also want to talk about a little bit of what your store has to offer. You have so many plants. Yes. Plants are so big the last few years. So many people have taken comfort in having plants, yes. especially after the pandemic. So we'll uh, pan around and show this, Ellen, if you want to walk through sure. the store with me here. Uh, a lot of good deals. These are such cute little plants. Tell me about Thank what you. we're seeing here. So for Lunar New Year, we love to hang little trinkets on our plants. I think the, cl the clash between the green and the vibrant red really brings auspiciousness. You're, it brings a lot of positive mood, and that type of energy is what you want to bring in for the new year, right? You want to have a lot of positivity, a lot of fresh air, um, you know, vibrant colors. That's what the new year is all about, coupled with spending time with your family. And Ellen, as we're talking about hanging stuff on trees, let's end over here on this orange tree that I think is so beautiful. Yes. Take a look at how big it is compared to Ellen. It's a big tree. <laughs> uh, orange is already hanging on it. And you said tomorrow people are going to hang their wishes on this. Yeah, so tomorrow we're going to have an event at 11 to 1230. It's going to be a free sound bath event. You know, we're going to be manifesting what we want from the new year and hanging our wishes on this tree. It'll be right where the kickoff of the parade is tomorrow, starting at one. We're real excited. Alan, thank you so much for being thank here uh, with us this morning. We've already learned so much in the short time that we've had with you. Uh, guys, again, as she mentioned, Lunar New Year festivities kicking off here tomorrow on Argyle in Uptown. Uh, the parade is going to be happening. Festivities start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Dozens of businesses uh, taking part in this. Over 20 community organizations are going to be contributing. We're going to be here uh, for the rest of the morning talking to other businesses to really showcase how they celebrate and bring in the new year. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. All right, it's all that's great thank you so much for that i need one of those trees in my apartment right to, to manifest it's an orange tree right, right. i don't yeah. know if they can go i think you probably plant it outside more or less. Probably can't yeah, i don't know if you can plant do it that 500 here. square foot apartment <laughs>